Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode of Shop Talk, we're going to talk about this. So I just got this in. I paid like 10 bucks for this thing off of Amazon. It was one of those deals. If you search Amazon on a regular basis, you come up with one of these deals. So this is a vehicle black box DVR. And what it is, is it's a dash cam. And... Uh, I figured for, for 10 bucks it was worth experimenting with, so kind of open it up. This came from China, and so what you have is, uh, I guess here, the basic camera unit. And, and what I should explain is, I wanted something for uh, to take slow motion videos or videos of 3D prints and the CNC, and I didn't want to spend a ton of money, so I thought this was, was a pretty uh, interesting bet. And so you got the camera here, and you see what it looks like now. Uh, the piece is, I probably will have to come up with some adapter because it's designed to hang from the windshield. You know, in other words, this is the top and it hangs from the windshield, and I'd really want it to mount from the bottom. What I may do is just mount it upside down and reverse the video and post-processing. However, we'll see. Because uh, here's the actual mount. So as you see, it comes with a, a suction cup mount. And uh, this comes out of here. And this slides in sort of like this. If I can get this to slide in. So here we have the uh, mount uh, set on it. And uh, if we turn it on, the battery is kind of low. So it starts up and you can kind of see the world there. And it takes the video. And this is the kind of suction cup. And what I'm thinking about doing is 3D printing a replacement for the suction cup that mounts it. And the more and more I think about it, the more and more I may just flip the video and post rather than trying to build a different mount. Mount Because, whoops, as it falls over, we have a couple different cables. We have a USB, and it uses a mini and not a micro for power, so that's important to note. And then we also have a 12-volt um, car adapter, obviously, since it's a, a car designed for a car. And then we have our obligatory Chinese manual. Uh, which I saw something on, on YouTube the other day was, which, which was very interesting. I never really thought of using it, but I do have it on my phone as Google Translate because I do travel abroad quite a bit for work, and I do use it, but I never thought about using it for instructions. So you can take Google Translate and sh you know show it at this and translate the Chinese. Uh, however, there just seemed to be a bit of an English piece here, so uh, so far so good. So video output formats, AVI, uh, it's micro card slot, it's got a built-in microphone, um, this is um, its capacity up to a 32 gig card, so that's important to note. Now, I'm really not sure, it wasn't clear on the Amazon site, and again, for 10 bucks, I figured I'd just take a flyer um, and, uh, you know, see how it works as far as recording, because I think it does loop recording, so I may have to just allow it to loop record right to the uh, SD card and then convert it in post to a time lapse. But again, you know, for a $10 camera, um, you know, that does 720p and 1080p, I mean, you really can't beat it. It looks like it's got a plastic lens, and I think the lens is maybe even a faux lens, because you can kind of see there's like a pinhole security camera inside there. Uh, so anyways, I tell you what, I'm going to go take some video of it, and then we'll kind of come back to the bench and see how it works. So, pressing the menu button, uh, we have size. Uh, normally I do it in VGA, but I did it 720p this time. You can see the selection. So I've got uh, 1080p, 720, and VGA. Normally I use VGA. Um, timestamp, and I usually do that to keep it small. So I have timestamp turned off. I've got motion detect off. I've got uh, video time 10 minutes, so the loop will be 10 minutes long, each loop. And then voice recording is off, obviously, because I'm doing a time lapse. Uh, and I have screensaver off, so it just continually shows with the screen or whatever it's saying. And then so, uh, again, hitting menu. Uh, so, oh, here's another menu. So this might answer my question. So if I hit menu again a second time, I did not realize this. So, uh, again, it's got format, uh, language English, auto off. I've got that turned off. System reset, light frequency, uh, date input, USB version. Let's see if it has more. Nope. Somewhere in the, in the instructions it said you could flip the video. Now I flip the video in post. 
So let's try this once again. Uh, format language, auto off, system reset. But I wonder, because it says next menu. Let me say cancel. Oh, in other words, it has um, the USB disk drive version. Now, I don't see where on this. I'll have to do a little bit more research where it says it. Uh, but anyways, so you can set the date um, and everything. So I'm just going to exit out of this and go back out, out of the menu. So, and then it's got the different indicators up here. So, I, I tell you what, for 10 bucks, I thought this was pretty cool and it worked okay. One of the things is going to be the focus, the focal distance. Um, the image was a little bit blurry, I think, because of how close I had it. Because obviously this is meant to go on your dash and record cars, you know, 20, 30 feet away from you. Um, but I, I think it worked okay. Again, for 10 bucks, if you're looking for something to do time lapses now, the way I typically do time lapses from something like this is with Windows Movie Maker. I've got a, a six-core AMD machine running at about four gigs, uh, pretty fast with a, a NVIDIA GPU card, about 32 GPU cores. And what I do is I just start up Movie Maker, throw this in the Movie Maker, and tell it to do time lapse. In other words, go under Edit and Video Speed, and it does it rather quickly. Now I can do it in my native application that I'm working on, either Corel Studio or Power Director, or I can do it on the uh, the Mac. I use iMovies, but I tell you what, uh, because it's got to process it along with what I'm processing, it's easier just to do it and bring in the time lapse. Uh, from doing it in iMovie, so it's just easier. Uh, then that way I don't have as much lag when I'm working on the final production, so just a little bit of video production tip. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you found it interesting, I appreciate it. It helps the channel out. Uh, also, subscribe button coming over there. If uh, you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, a lot of stuff coming out. We appreciate it. And also, any questions, hit me up below. Happy to answer them. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.